could you please get me my jammies out of the suitcase, please? Yeah, my socks and underwear and nighties, jammies, jammies, yeah. You don't even wear jammies! Oh, uh, yeah, that's right, sorry! You'll never get away with this! Incorrectness! I, Criminal Quint, the most perpetrating dare-to-well bank-robbing rogue east of Alcatraz, have pulled off the perfect crime. Uh, nearly perfect. signs <laughs> and what's all that stuff hanging up in the air above your head what the hell's nothing now come on Pumba we're leaving the country let's go 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 <laughs> yeah. say what's all that what all this it's not really nothing I mean it's certainly not a bunch of money or anything that's for sure Gee, it looked to me like exactly $1,290,000 in unmarked bills. And since it doesn't belong to us, maybe it belongs to him. Discovery, location, I, Criminal Quint, have found my lost suitcase. If this is really your suitcase, then what exactly is inside? $1,290,000 in unmarked bills. Gee, Timon, that proves it. And I think we should do the right thing and give the suitcase full of money back to its owner. No, 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 not so fast, Pomba. It could have been a lucky guess. Plus, my name and address are clearly printed on the luggage tag. Criminal Quint, 8520 East Lawbreaker Lane, Bandit City, Tennessee. Crud. Well, there, that definitely proves it. Uh, let's see some identification, pal. <laughs> yep. He's definitely exactly who he says he is, Timon! So that means the suitcase is definitely his. Criminal Quint thanks you for finding his suitcase and wishes to give you a reward. One dollar. Jay, thanks. Sure you can spare it? So long, suckers! I mean, uh, citizens! <laughs> yeah, 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 we got one dollar, we got one dollar, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you glad we did the right thing now, Timon? Oh, yes, Pumba. I'm very glad we did the right thing. See my big, glad smile. Buy with our one dollar. Hmm. Oh, we could buy a yacht, yes. No, those cost more than one dollar. How about a giant diamond ring, yes. No, those cost more than one dollar as well. Well, there's got to be something we can buy for one dollar. Extra, extra, get your newspaper. Only one dollar. Only 
only one dollar! Yay! There! I bought something with our dollar! It's a newspaper! And look! Criminal Quint, the most perpetrating ne'er-do-well bank robbing rogue east of Alcatraz, has stolen a suitcase full of money! <gasps> We have to go right to the police and tell them what happened and say to them everything we know. That would be the right thing to do. What gives you that idea? Didn't you read the rest of the article? If you know anything about this, please go right to the police and tell them what happened and say to them everything you know. That would be the right thing to do. Pomba, Pomba. We can't go to the police. Why not? Here, I'll show you. We had the money, right? Then we gave it back to Criminal Quint, correct? That makes us the companyists! It does? Yes, it does! And that means we'll have to go to jail and call each other butch and wear those stripy jail clothes. Stripes make me look pudgy. And don't call me butch. And there's only one thing to do. What's that? The right thing to do, Pumba. We'll get the money back ourselves! Who could that be? What do you want? Good afternoon, sir. We would like to make you an offer. Uh, or I mean a, I, I, a singular type human person, would like to make you an offer you can't refuse. Criminal Quint is busy. Wait, don't shut us out. I mean, don't shut me, a singular human type person, out until you've seen this. <laughs> What is it? It is a toilet plunger. You know, to steal all that money people throw down the drain, and it can be yours for the low, low introductory special this week only price of uh, $1,290,000. In unmarked bills. Oh, I mean, not in unmarked bills. Ow. I mean, I didn't say anything. Uh, my stomach can talk? Now what? Goo goo, gaga, goo goo. I am a baby. Dear Mr. Criminal Quint, please take care of my baby. His daddy worked at a bank, so he likes money, so please put him on the table by the money. Sincerely, Timon. I mean, uh, the baby's mother. Come on in, little fella. Christmas and all that. I'm Santa Claus, and this here's my reindeer, Pumba. Hello, I am a reindeer. And we're <laughs> here to give you presents. You, Santa Claus, want to give me, Criminal Quint, Christmas presents? That's right. I've checked my list twice, and you've been a very, very extra good criminal this year. Therefore, you deserve a lot, a lot of presents. But it's the middle of June. Is it? Oh, you're right. It is. Well, then, I guess I'll just have to take all these presents back for now. Can't be giving them away early. Oh, don't want to forget all this money, so we'll just put it in here, and we'll put that in here. Very well. Okay, we'll see ya. Let's see. Dash Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen, and Pumba. <laughs> A mook and his money are soon parted. There's no reindeer named Pumba. I'm No one's.
Steal stolen money from Limelo Quint! me to do? Get in drag and do the hula? Uh, I don't think that would apply to this particular situation. Then I've got another idea. Come on, boy! Jump! Of ten months, I, Criminal Quint, have recovered my suitcase full of money. Gee, to moan! I can't believe you gave him back the money! But I didn't, Pumba. That's our suitcase! <laughs> Wow! It looks like he's convict Quint now. <laughs> Are you sure you did the right thing and returned the money to Moon? Of course I did, Pumba, and that's why they gave me such a big reward. But this looks like exactly $1,290,000 worth of stuff! Isn't that ironic? That was the exact amount of the reward! Uh-oh... Ooh! A chocolate-covered maple moth! That's my favorite! They're all your favorite, Pumba. This is true! <gasps> Toffee Pecan Crickets. Mmm. Mmm. I stand deliciously corrected. Caramel fudge dipped June bug. Hey, Timon, when are you going to eat your favorite one? Ah, <laughs> the famed dark chocolate, honey crisp, candy coated beetle brittle, mantis marzipan, peppermint lotus nut nougat, mealy bug truffle. I'm saving it for last, Pumba, so I can savor it slowly and. Responsibilities that affect lives other than their own. Responsibilities? Pumba, there you go, misconstrudling everything again. These people clearly don't know how to relax. Timon, a kuna matata might not work for everyone. Pumba, I say I can make Hakuna Matata work for anyone. But why should I? These stress-happy locals have not directly affected me. But the moment one does, I'll gladly prove my Hakuna Matata theory. Ooh. My truffle! Time to check the clock. Uh, Timon, I think he directly affected you by making you smash your favorite truffle. of observation astonish me, Pumba. Now, step aside and watch me weave my Hakuna Matata magic. Pardon me, sir. My name is Timon, and that's my friend Pumba. And this is your lucky day. 
Hello. Hey, mister, are you listening to me? Yo, Hans, you think you could spare a minute? You got 60 of them. <sighs> I am Frank Vergnügen, keeper of the clock. Please do not ask me to spare a second. My time is devoted to this clock, which is the pride of my city and joy of my life. Whoa, whoa, Frank, relax. You don't seem to realize how my job carries a responsibility that affects lives other than my own. What did he say, Timon? Nothing, nothing, something about responsibility. I was selected by my fellow townspeople to care for this cherished clock that has not only kept the trains and other transportation running on time for a century, but has also survived eight fires, two floods, and three wars. The townspeople rely on me to preserve this living memorial of which I am the proud timekeeper. Yeah, 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 we get the idea. And all it tells me is that there is one huge gaping void in your life. But I have the clock. What more do I need? What more do you need? Hakuna Matata! What a wonderful... You're not going to perform an entire musical number, are you? Because I don't have time. I still have to recalibrate the main suspension spring. What I'm talking about here is... Hakuna Matata! It means loosen those later hosen, let down your hair, and see the world through carefree colored lenses. Forget your worries. Have some fun. Take a vacation. Eat some fun. Kiss a girl. Why, it's true. I've never taken the time to kiss a girl. Never even kissed a girl. Timon, you're right. I'm gonna kick back, cut loose, and kiss a girl. But what about the clock? But what about the clock? What? What about the clock? You think the minute you walk away, the clock will break and mean old Mr. Clock Inspector will drive up in a big black car and demand it be fixed by noon or you're fired? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> See you later. I'll be the same. Ciao. <laughs> Let me guess. Clock Inspector? Correctness! And I, Clockwork Quint. The most punctual timekeeping timekeeper in the Alps condemn Frank Vagnugan for leaving this clock in such a grievous state of disrepair. Uh, Inspector. Interruption! Allow Clockwork Quint to savor the moment. Ever since this misguided town chose Frank to be timekeeper instead of me, I've been waiting for sweet revenge. Unless the clock is fixed and cuckooing by noon, Frank Fagnugan is fired. Fired? He'll never work on clocks again. His sons will never work on clocks. Or their sons. Neither. Ha ha ha. Gee, Timon, I guess Frank had more to worry about than he realized. Hakuna Matata, Pumba, there's nothing to worry about. We can fix it! Uh, let's get out of here. What's taking so long? Timon, don't you think we should... Pumba. What? I think we should find Frank and tell him about the clock because if we don't find him and tell him about the clock, he'll get fired and we'll never get out of this house! Good idea! <laughs> Who's the brains of this outfit? Well, uh... That's right, me. So when we find Frank, let me do the talking. Timon! Pumba! 
long time no see. Guess what? Thanks to you guys and Hakuna Matata, I'm getting married. <laughs> Meet my bride to be, Frida. <gasps> I'm so honored to be engaged to Otto's timekeeper. I've cherished that big clock ever since I was a little girl. The cuckoo bird sang me to sleep every night, but I never dreamed I'd meet someone who loved that clock as much as I do. With your love, I'll finally prove to Clockwork Quince that I am not a failure. We'll get married at the clock. Our children will grow up to be timekeepers, as will our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. That clock will keep perfect time for generations of clock lovers like us. Well... <sighs> tell him what you were gonna tell him, Pumba. But I thought you, the brains of the outfit, were going to tell him that the clock broke. The clock is broken? But how? It, it, it's not exactly broken. It, it could be your basic wear and tear. Uh, then again, it, it might just be a sprung spiro spring or uh, just a glitch in the clock and spiel uh, majig and... And big deal if you're fired if the clock isn't fixed by noon. Is that gonna be the end of your timekeeping career? Yes! And it's only five minutes before noon. Follow me. Always the bridesmaid. Never the bride. My clock! Oh! There's no way I can fix it by noon! It's all you and your Hakuna Matata's fault! Hey! Wrong. Blue eyes. Don't look at us. You only have yourself to blame. What mook neglects a temperamental piece of machinery like this to pick up on ski bunnies? This clock has a history. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Wait one minute! Which is about how long we have left to live. I've got an idea! Consternation! Frank Fake Nugan and his beloved clock will soon part company. Maybe now this town will pick the right man for the job. Someone like me, Clockwork Quint. The most punctual timekeeping timekeeper in the Alps. I've been predicting your failure for years, and today. What? <laughs> Coco. Vexation! Clockwork Quint will get revenge. Clockwork Quint is... Grrr. Coco. 